What's up, guys? Joshua Yale here with Jim Vave to talk about some Walking Dead casting. Right. We finally have uh, our Negan, who's yeah. going to be the big villain uh, of season six. He'll make his debut April 3rd the, in the finale of the current season. And we got Jeffrey Dean Morgan. What right. do you think of that casting? I think it's perfect, actually. I mean, I know when the governor was cast, a lot of us were like, huh? He's like, he looks nothing like him. And then they're, they're kind of ultimately, their portrayal of him was different from the comics. Mm -hmm. But Jeffrey D. Morgan looks like the character. He's got the right personality. He's a big guy, so he can be intimidating. Uh, and yet there's kind of a vulnerability to him. Um, he's, uh, I think he's a perfect choice. I know, I think a, f a few fans had actually suggested him. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and there's been- casting. Yeah, and then there have been some chatter about uh, Garrett Dillahunt and, and John Hamm and uh, you know a few other names that Tim popped Tim Dillon, up. I think. Um, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. you know, there's been a lot of folks that have been kind of mentioned. But you know, it sh we should point out that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is no stranger to comic book. Yeah, he's got another comic book role. Yeah, I know. Well, he's he's done a a lot of different ones. He's going to be uh, Thomas Wayne. And Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Short role. <laughs> you, you see him in the trailer. In yeah. the, in the, in, <laughs> That's again, probably gonna be it. Yet <laughs> another another death scene for Thomas Wayne. Uh, obviously, Watchmen. We all know him as comedian, and he was great in that. Mm -hmm. So probably gives us a bit of a taste of of sort of how he can find the darkness and sort of that almost gleeful malevolence mm -hmm. in, in, kind in of a Negan. Twisted, yeah. Yeah, and then he was also in The Losers, and a lot of people forget this. It was in Jonah Hex. I think we all forgot Jonah Hex. I, I remember <laughs> Jonah Hex. Um, so you know he's he's no stranger to this to this genre, uh, and I think he actually he's a really good actor. He looks like the character. Nobody seems to be upset about this yeah. choice. This is a win. I think this is yeah. great. Like he's such a high caliber actor, like a movie yeah. actor, yeah. and he's coming to do like a big role on The Walking Dead. Like that's this yeah. Christmas. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it, and he also. Um, I can see him holding his own with uh, with Rick and Michonne and the rest of them because he's going to have to, and he has that sort of presence and charisma to and intelligence to be like a, a genuine threat for Rick. It's mm -hmm. not like they, it wasn't just some guy they you know threw into the role. You have to believe this is a guy that can get into people's heads. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> literally, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, you know he's going to uh, really present a, a true challenge for Rick, I would imagine mostly in season seven, yeah. since, again, he's only showing up in, in, as far as we know, the season finale. Yes. So. Uh, yeah, he's really someone who, when he shows up, the character has to like own the scene and yeah. really cause this like, run a chill on everyone's spine, because he's, he's crazy. So let's, we're gonna talk a little bit about the character uh, right now. Um, Are we getting the, into spoilers? Should we give them a heads up? Um, right now I'm going to do minor spoilers, just some details, okay. and then we'll save the actual spoiler stuff where we get to the comic books right for the very end. But just for sort of who he is, he, he's the head of this group called the Saviors, another group of post-apocalyptic survivors, yeah. um, but he, he rules through fear. He like, all the men who um, is in his group, he uh, he like dates, not dates, he like pretty much sleeps with all their well, wives he has a harem. and girlfriends. Yeah, he has a harem. He's like a medieval king yeah. in a way. It's like he, he He's taking his uh, his first night privileges, yeah. if you will, and and you know he he's but there's a sort of at times a benevolence to him, or at least he can. Mm. Well, I mean, yeah. at least that he can. He's not your typical crazy. Like he yeah. will listen. He's a, he's and, a special kind of crazy, and he he's is. got he's got a world view which is very. I'd say interesting. It's also yeah. very like twisted and weird. Um, but yeah, he's 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 a really fascinating character. He's just a big you know presence in the comic books. Huge villain. Like he, I feel like he um, is he's like the governor meets Shane. You know, yeah. Shane more yeah. from the show than from the comic because um, you know like he, he sort of forms a bond with uh, with Carl a little bit. He right. like, grows a fondness for him, uh, just like you know he did to Carl did to Shane. And then the governor like he runs like this group of people like pretty much. You know, yeah. th but not so much through lying to them, but just through fear. So he's like the ultimate like bad guy for this. Yeah. He's pretty much the worst case scenario. Um, um, and and now if we want to go into spoiler territory, this is like spoilers from the comic book, huge stuff. So if you don't want to know that, now's the time to check and, out. And we're gonna talk about some stuff that's happened this season on the show just a little bit. Uh, so if you haven't caught up on all the episodes of Walking Dead. Again, come yeah. back. So here this. we go. Full spoilers for comic books and the show. So oh, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and... Well, he kills Glenn. 
There yeah, we go. He did it. The first time we he, see Negan yeah. in issue number 100 of the comic book, he shows up uh, and is a show of power um, to make like Rick and his group sub uh, Rick and his group submit. He just beats Glenn to death with Yeah, he bat. has his baseball bat that has barbed wire on it. He calls it Lucille. Uh, and you know, basically, he uh, it's like a, a, a mob boss in a way. I will offer you protection. But you give me half of your stuff. Yeah, and, and they didn't so want to play goes ball. Up to, yeah, yeah, they didn't want to play ball, and so I, it does seem to me that, uh, and we can speculate about this later in, a, in maybe another conversation. But I have a feeling that's how this season will end. He'll it'll end with him you killing Glenn, and then you're like, holy crap! And then all season seven is Negan uh, kind of showing yeah. his true colors even more to the the rest of the the survivors yeah. of Rick's group. This is going to be like a Game of Thrones level yeah. like finale if they decide to go that way kind of yeah. like a red wedding type thing where yeah. he just shows yeah. up, beats Glenn to death and that's we and the whole audience is is wait is is yeah, like left like, on hey, that note. Yeah, Glenn's back. Oh, Glenn's dead. Yeah, cuz right now <laughs> we think he's dead, although I everyone's assuming he's actually alive. Yeah. So, I think it would be actually weird and manipulative to play with uh, yeah. audience expectations like taking Glenn away, like faking out his death, bringing him back and then killing him. I think yeah. that's not the way to go. It's going to be also, particularly cruel, though, too, because Maggie is pregnant. So if they what do if it like kills, the comics and that, he's in front of them. That makes me think they don't go to the comics route because they often deviate from the comic books. Yeah. What if he kills like Maggie instead? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. That's, could, that's pretty dark yeah. even for the show. I mean, they hey. didn't do that with Laurie in the way she got killed off. That's true. But, but hey, anything he, could happen you yeah. know, if they really wanted to make an impact. So, wow, what if oh. they kill both of them? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. All <laughs> right, so uh, overall though, we're both pretty, yeah. pretty stoked this on this awesome casting. awesome casting. Cannot wait for this. Yeah, this awesome. Cool. Right. So uh, that's it. Let us know what you think of the <laughs> casting in the comments. And for all things Walking Dead, keep it right here on IGN.